Okay folks, tonight I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, limiting reactants. They're also known as limiting reagents. I'm going to do an example problem and just watch it a few times or however many times you need to see, you know, see if you can do these or not. Just watch them over and over again and eventually you will. Alright, <clears throat> here's our uh, first problem tonight. Here we have sulfur hexafluoride, a very good electrical insulator. It is prepared by the reaction of sulfur with elemental fluorine. And in this problem, they want us to find uh, the mass of uh, the sulfur hexafluoride, which is this one. So since they ask what mass, <clears throat> they want that in grams. I put a number sign with a G underneath the SF6 to basically let me know that, that this is the direction that I'm heading in. And then as you read on, it says it's produced from the reaction of and they give me 150 uh, point grams here. Uh, so basically this is going to be 150 grams of sulfur. So 150 point. I'm sorry that uh, this problem has a decimal here. I'm assuming they want, you, want us to use three sig figs, but you and I both know that that's just two sig figs there. But anyway, so that's 150 grams of sulfur. But we'll be uh, funny amused the author of the problem uh, to use three sig figs in our answers. Anyway, uh, 150 grams of sulfur with 650 grams of F2. So that's uh, 650 grams of F2. Now, basically what we have here is we have four uh, grams to grams problems. Okay, You have grams of sulfur going to grams of SF6. You have uh, grams of uh, F2 going to grams of SF6. So we just need to do two four-step problems and then once we do that we'll pick the smaller of the two uh, answers. Anyway, let's get started. All right. Uh, what I like to do is I also like to label the molar masses up here. Uh, the molar mass of sulfur is given up here. It's 32.06. Now this is just me, but I like to write the molar masses above the reactants and products and write down any of the given information or look at information below the equation. Now they told us the molar mass of the uh, F2 is 38.00 grams and the molar mass of SF6 is 146.06 grams. So we're going to go first from grams of this to grams of this. So I'm going to write down a uh, hundred and fifty grams of S. That's my given, so I'm going to put it over one. Then I'm going to look and put grams of S down here. Now, after the first time you write grams down, it was a given. Now, any time after that, grams will always always be a molar mass. So the molar mass of this sulfur is this 32.06. Now, this is molar mass, so this will be one mole of sulfur. Now, keep going. If you look at the balanced equation, uh, there's just one mole of sulfur here. So you, down here, you will write one mole of sulfur. Okay. Now, over here, SF6, there's only one mole of that. So here, you will write one mole of SF6. Six. Now, if you're wondering, how did I know that there's only one mole of SF6, and how did I know that there's this one mole of sulfur, is I'm looking at the coefficients uh, that's in front of the elements. Okay, that's what they use to balance the equation, and that's what numbers go here. Okay, so I keep going, because if they wanted moles, I'd stop, but they don't. They want grams. So if this is moles of SF6, this will be moles of SF6 of SF6. Now, after your molar ratio, okay, which is this, after your molar ratio, any other time that you write moles will be with a 1. So this is 1 mole of SF6. Now, the molar mass of that is right here. It's 146.06 grams of SF6. Now, all that we need to do is punch this in our handy dandy cheetah later which is a TI-83, uh, that'll be 150 
times 1 times 1 uh, times 146.06 that gives me uh, 21,909. I'm then going to divide that number by 32.06 and I'm also going to divide it, well that's it, I was going to say divide it by 1. Now for some reason in the problem they wanted us to use three sig figs, they, I don't know if you can tell it but they put a little bitty point there and a little bitty point there. So the author of this problem wanted you to use three sig figs. We'll humor them and use them. I end up getting I uh, don't think you can see it there, but I end up getting the following number, 683.374922 grams. Now, I do not need all of that for my answer. Uh, what I need to do, though, is get the number of sig figs. I need three sig figs uh, for this calculation uh, because... Uh, the uh, creator of the problem wrote down 150 uh, point. I'm pretty sure they intended for all purposes for us to use three sig figs. So that's what I'm going to, I'm going to do here. So this is 683 grams of SF6. Now this is one of our possible answers. Now what we need to do next is go from grams of the F2 to grams of the SF6, then pick the smaller one. So let's go ahead and set that one up. Okay, We were given on this one, sorry for hitting the camera, on this one we were given 650 grams of F2. Okay, 650 grams of F2. Put my given over 1. The molar mass of the F2 is this 38 up here. So this is 38.00 grams of F2. This is molar mass, so that's one mole of F2. Now, looking at the molar ratios, there are three moles of F2. And looking here, there's just one mole of SF6. Got to keep going, and one mole of SF6. There are 146.06 grams of SF6. Okay. Now, once again, we punch this one into the handy dandy cheetah later. Hopefully, we don't make any mistakes on that. Uh, that's 650 times 1 times 1 times 146.06. And that's what I've got entered in press enter I get like 94,939 then I'm going to divide that by the 38.00 that I have and the other denominator which is a 3 I'm also going to divide that by 3 I end up getting um, 832 point a big long number <laughs> 832.7982456 once again 3 sig figs uh, it's going to end up being 833 grams of SF6. Now, only one of these is possible. The only one that is possible is the smallest one. Because we can't make this much because that's way too much. So, basically, this is impossible because it's too big. This one's the answer for the limiting reaction reactant or the limiting reagent because it's the smallest. Okay, so anyway, anytime you do a calculation by hand, uh, it's known as uh, one or two things. It's known as a max yield or uh, it could be known as your theoretical. And the reason why is theoretical, if you remember, is what you get on paper. Actual yield is what you'll get when you go to the lab to do the experiment. But anyway, we've answered the question. They want to know what mass of SL6 would be produced from this reaction, and there it is. And probably something else that you would want to know is this. Uh, the sulfur is your limiting reactant because it gave you your maximum yield, and the one that did not is your excess, which is the F2. All right, guys, I hope this helps.